What's up everybody? It's Joe B here for yet another Q&A session. This one posted by RDBRs' YouTube handle and he actually has a couple of conversations with me in the past so what's up dude? Um, thank you for contributing to our channel and I'm going to read off your question in its entirety. It says, hey Joe, what's the most effective post-workout carb? Those that do generate insulin spikes and those that do not. So start off with those that do not. Well, I actually just did a video about waxy maize. Um, waxy maize is actually touted to be something that's supposed to release a massive insulin spike. Um, but it's study after study has shown that that's not the case, but that doesn't mean it's a bad carbohydrate. So if you're on the go and you don't want something that's going to create a massive insulin spike, waxy maize is actually pretty good for that. Um, other carbs that are good for a low insulin spike um, post-workout would be and sometimes I throw in a scoop of oatmeal. Um, it could be a flavor packet, it could be a regular oatmeal, into my blender, I don't really drink it without a blender in this case, and I'll add my protein powder, my stuff in there, um, anything like fruit or whatnot. I mean, the fruit does have a, you know, a little bit more of a carbs added to it, but you know, long story short, waxy maize if you're looking for a powder. Um, and it, really any food after you work out for a moderate to low insulin spike because you're going to be taking in protein with it and stuff like that. Now, stuff that does a high insulin spike has been shown to, especially if you're doing like bout after bout of exercise, has shown to have a quicker absorption rate, a quicker glycogen replenishment. You're going to get that from your higher insulin spike products. And like you said, maltodextrin and dextrose are the king of your insulin spikes post-workout, your glucose, your sugar. Uh, so anything sugary, you know what's really good too is your, your low-fat milk. If you want to add that to your protein powder post-workout, that's going to create a nice insulin spike as well. And when it comes to spiking your insulin, the, you really only have to worry about that if you're about to work out again relatively soon. Some people have a late night workout session and an early morning workout session over and over and over again. Then quicker replenishment is a little bit more of a necessity than your average gym goer. So all that being said, I really hope I answered your question and thanks again for contributing to our channel. So if you have any questions for me, all of our YouTube subscribers, people who just come across this video for the first time, go check out our website. If you have a question about anything from exercise to nutrition to supplementation, then post it below or go onto Facebook and Instagram, friend us, follow us, post it there. If you do that, hashtag same day subs to make sure we see it. Or you can email me directly at joeb at samedaysupplements.com. Now, if you like this video, then like the video and definitely subscribe to our YouTube channel. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, stay aesthetic.